Hi all. So today I welcome you on my channel codingmandate.com. So today we I will be discussing with you another library that is Beautiful Sue, that is used to scrap or uh, to get the data from the HTML file. So let's stay before moving the to the definition of that module or why we are using that module. We need to learn that how we can install that module. So for that. We need to go with uh, the command pip install beautiful soup for. If you are using Python version 3, use beautiful soup for. And if you are using Python 2, then you need to install BS4. I repeat, if you are using Python 3, then you need to use beautiful soup for. And if you are using Python 2, Python version 2, then you need to use pip install bs4 now let's see that what this library does for us it is a python library that is used for web scrapping purposes to pull the data out of html and xml files let's suppose i have one this uh, i have this page and i want to scrap this page and I want to get all the day content such as the signs of success or the we are we are all confident idiots in this like type of things. I want to scrap all this data. So for that we need to use the request module first to get inter uh, to interact with this website and get the whatever the response uh, is there in the form of text and the status code then we will use the beautiful soup library to make it uh, more beautiful uh, or we can say that to uh, make that data understandable it creates a pass tree from pay source data that can be used to extract data in an hierarchical and more readable manner uh, for that I will show you one example. Let's suppose I am having won this request and uh, we will try to scrap this URL only. Pasting this URL. Let's see that what would be the output. Here we are not using beautiful soup but before using that I just want to show why we need to use this library. Okay. So let's see what is happening. Now the code is running. Okay, so the data will be in this form, which by no way you can make it in a you can exec the data or you can read it or you want a particular data you can't find it so for that we need to use the beautiful soup library so how we will use first we need to install let me do that go to terminal then type the command pip install beautiful soup four okay press enter more about this library so it is an awesome python library used to pull data out of html and xml pages that we discussed previously as it provides the idiomatic ways of navigating searching and modifying the past tree as when we will use this library it will create a pass tree based on that uh, uh, text and from there we can use that text to uh, extract the data according to our need so the library has been installed so now we need to include this library in our code for that we will use from bs4 import beautiful soup now it has been done and now we will generate a variable with the name soup that will be equal to soup 
beautiful soup. First, we will get this r.text. I encourage you to use the LXML library as well. It will be just like a parser or you can use HTML5 parser. Uh, HTML5 parser or you can use LXML. I will be using LXML. Before that, we need to install as well. So, for that, we will write pip install LXML. It will install and we will give r.txt comma lxml now we will try to print soup print soup now before i proceed further we need to f look that what we want let's suppose i want only the headings like intelligence social philosophy happiness language these four headings i want to extract not the whole content because it might be possible that these content doesn't uh, are not according to my need or what i want so for that we will inspect that so click on inspect button and then go to this library uh, this link it is it is in the h3 so we can see it is in the h3 so we will try to find with this soup first of all let let us see what this soup will print okay so the data has been printed in a good form like the it has been in a structured format now we will try to find soup dot find h3 find will print only the first occurrence if we use find all then it will print the whole number of occurrences but if we are using find then it will print only the first occurrence in running so the first is intelligence we got our part this is intelligence yeah so now let's suppose i want the first part only so for that i have written intelligence so we can say find and dot txt what it will do it will go with just it will find the first occurrence of h3 then and will print the text out of that not the tags these whatever the text inside the tags will not be printed so let's see what it is going to do yeah so the intelligence has been printed so we have been done so this is how we use beautiful soup to extract the data from the uh, any url that you want in a structured format so thank you for that yeah